Zionism is a modern phenomenon, but it is only modern in the sense that it's the political expression of the age-old Jewish dream for a return to their land. So as a political movement, it's, it's dated to the 19th century, but as a phenomenon of Jewish hopes and aspirations, we have to go further back. And so when we talk about the Jewish attachment to the land, we have to go all the way back to the very founding of our people. The wall didn't really become a place to pray at until a little over 100 years ago. It was bought up by a man by the name of Montefiore. And he came to the wall and he found the woman pouring garbage over the wall, and he asked her, why are you doing this? She said, our customs always pour garbage here. So he had a little bit of money, and he bought the wall up from the Turks, and he added stones at the top to prevent them from pouring garbage over the heads of the Jewish people. We've been walking down a long road that started back then with Adam in the Garden of Eden. I don't know who needs whom more. I don't want to be, uh, to lose proportion, but in some measure, America needs it. He was going to give us our freedom, coming home. Uh, I was the first uh, scientific director of the Israeli Atomic Energy Commission. Uh, in the late 50s and early 60s, we created an infrastructure. We decided, the government of Israel at that time decided, that someday the Arabs might get nuclear weapons. And Israel should not be caught in a situation in which it can't produce them. Just as Iraq was never blamed for invading Iran and killing 100,000 people, in the same way there wouldn't even have been a complaint if they would have made the bombs. Now it's different. Now they know that there is this Israel, which may be slightly crazy, but does not like the idea of uh, a nuclear power arising next door to it. One big family reunion in the family of man. Question of coming into Arab land. There are Arabs living there today, who let's call it by what it should be called, who have taken over ancient Jewish land. And Jews have never said to the Arabs, get out of here. We lost our homes, our land, our temple, and freedom. We lived through everything they could give us. By the hand of God, we're back with a brand new beginning. going to an official ceremony that was set up by the government and the, and the public was invited to participate in a new settlement that's being set up in the West Bank. We think that setting up settlements like this in this part of the country is an obstacle to peace. It will prevent us from making any kind of uh, negotiations in the future. I think America over, over the history has always defended the right of people to be free and, uh, and choice and uh, their form of government. Look at them go!